Hey YouTubers, this is a real quick informal video on how I'm packing my Mindshift Gear First Light 40 liter bag that I did an unboxing of a few days ago. Uh, I think I have it set up the way I want to use it. Uh, I'm not 100% positive, but I got to make this video because I got to pack. And I'm doing everything I can not to get started on that because I hate packing. Anyway, so here's the bag. Now let's go ahead and look at what's inside. Uh, it's set up, again, for my Arca Swiss 4x5. This is a monorail camera. Uh, I have it on a really short rail here. So this is a 15 centimeter rail that lets the camera compress down really small. So uh, that goes in here, and I've got sort of an informal dark cloth here. It's really just a t-shirt. This is for focusing. Uh, I'll probably use a different t-shirt that's thicker, but I haven't gotten that in here yet. But that'll just sit there like that and kind of keep the dust out of the inside of the camera. And then I kind of just rigged up uh, a set of dividers using two each of the dividers that are included with the bag, these ones that have the Velcro midway. And I kind of hooked them together so that I could separate this section here. This is four film holders. And uh, then moving up here, I've got this kind of top layer. In the corner here, I've got my loop, my focusing loop. In this little slot, I've got my uh, incident meter. Uh, then in here, I've got two uh, think tank. Uh, I can't remember what they call these. They're basically little kind of accessory bags. I'm going to do a video on these at some point. I keep saying that, and I never do it. So I've got one in here uh, for the gear for the camera. That's why I like to have these. I have a bunch of them. I keep different sets of gear in each bag, and then when I'm taking a given like camera or computer whatever, I just grab the bag and I have everything that goes with it. And then the other one here is for my digital camera. Right now I'm thinking I'll take the A6000, haven't decided yet, but either way I'll take this bag if it's the A7 or the A6000. So these slot right into here. And then over here I've got my lens tier, I guess you'd call it. Uh, I'm taking three lenses. It's making it a pretty heavy setup, unfortunately. Um, so the focal lengths I'm taking, and remember in 4x5, if you're not familiar with it, um, the focal length of those lenses, uh, you can, can kind of convert it to 35mm um, by dividing by 3. Uh, it's kind of a rough estimate. So uh, this one here is the, the widest lens I'm taking, and it's not all that wide. It's 120mm, uh, so that equates to about a 40mm lens. This is a 180mm lens, so that equates to about a 60 and this is a 250, so it's going to relate to or equate to uh, about an 82, I guess. Uh, so that's the lens selection. Then in this spot here, like I said, I think I'll take my A6000, but I'm toying with putting my A7 in there. I think it'll fit. I'm just trying to decide how much weight I actually want to carry. This is going to be fairly heavy by the time I'm done. So this is the main compartment. Over here, I've got another accessory bag. This is... Uh, my computer and iPad bag. So I've got a like a, a power, what do you call these things? Um, what are these things called? Whatever it is, you know, you plug in your USB device and it, it powers it and charges it. Uh, I've got a, you know, a wall wart, etc. Computer stuff. Over here I have my tripod and uh, on this trip I'm going to take my little Benro. Uh, this is a 2000 series Benro, so it's roughly like a Gitzo 2 series. It's probably ever so slightly lightweight for the Arca Swiss, but I did use it the other night and it did just fine. And this thing is pretty small and light. It's not going to go in the bag. I could attach it to the side of the bag. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to put this in my checked bags. So this will go in my rolling bag. Uh, it's just too heavy to carry on and I, don't, I just don't want it hanging off the side of the bag on the airplane. There's a water bottle I'll put in one of the side pockets. And I guess I'll take this little blower too to get the dust off my lenses. So that's kind of it, it for the inside anyway. And then on the outside, I'm going to be carrying at least my iPad. I have an iPad Air 2. So I'm going to at least have that in this pocket. I may choose to take my MacBook, my 12 inch MacBook. I haven't decided if I take it. I also will take the iPad, and i got to decide if I want to carry that much weight. But anyway, the iPad could go back here if the uh, MacBook is in here. And then in this pocket, I've got the ground cover slash rain cover. So uh, I'm taking that with me because if I put this thing down on the ground, I want to make sure the straps in the back stay dry. 
So I think that covers it. That's my setup. It's fitting really well. I might find use for these pockets. Uh, I'm not quite done packing, but these pockets are much roomier than those on the other bag, the uh, backlight um, 26 liter, as I mentioned in my unboxing. So I might find a use for these yet. I, I really like the fact that I've got a little more room in these guys. So uh, I'm blabbering now. I need to actually pack, so I will catch you later and probably do some updates from the field while I am in Kentucky. See ya.